Several years ago, I had the opportunity to edit and co-author a book about the most memorable State of the Union addresses from the last 50 years. And in that, um, President Clinton, we analyzed several of his, 1998, 1999, because those State of the Union addresses were during his scandals and impeachment trials um, that surrounded his presidency. And it's going to be really fascinating to see uh, whether President Trump follows that Clinton model of ignoring scandal, ignoring the impeachment, and it instead focuses on his agenda the pieces of trade legislation that were just passed, criminal justice reform at the end of last year, or whether there'll be a more uh, prominent uh, focus on what's been uh, encapsulating the nation for the last several weeks. Governor Gretchen Whitmer for the response for the Democrats was a really interesting choice, and I think that's for several reasons. First being that the how the importance of Michigan in the 2020 election, as we saw the last time the state of Michigan was decided by 10,000 votes, and this could be the, the state that determines who the winner is in 2020. Also, as we saw in the 2018 midterm elections, there was a lot of gains, especially in the state of Michigan, and, and Gretchen Whitmer is kind of the face of that, uh, the gains the Democrats experienced there that they want to replicate again in 2020. And this will be the most important speech of her political career, given the stakes and the tens of millions of people or so that could watch after the address and there's a lot of pressure because you have to follow the president and all the pomp and circumstances they have. Um, but it'll be interesting to see if she's uh, up to that task.